you're watching Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here at the Grauman's Egyptian Theater in Hollywood, California, for the Sunbow celebration of the Transformers the Movie and G.I. Joe the Movie, presented by American Cinema Tech and Damaged Goods. So check us out here as we interview a lot of the celebrities and the guests here that attend the Sunbow Celebration of the Transformers the Movie and G.I. Joe the Movie on Star Wars Entertainment TV. Hi, this is Tyrone Tan with Star Wars Entertainment TV, and we're here with my dear friend Hank Garrett. Now, Hank, we've gotten to, I've got to interview several times, and yes. it's always a pleasure. It's always great seeing you, and, and it's a testament of showing what a great guy you are. And because every time I see you, you have a great smile. You interact with your fans well, and I know we've gotten to you know I don't want to try to uh, repeat things that we've asked, <laughs> but yeah. I do want to acknowledge the fact that you are a part of this great celebration. And what's it like? being here after how many years later to seeing a sold out theater of, of movies that you've been involved with. Can you tell the audience uh, your involvement with the G.I. Joe or Transformers uh, franchise? I, on G.I. Joe I was the voice of Dial Tone which was the communications expert and I've done a number of different voices. I also do voices on Garfield where I do the fluffy and fast Eddie characters. Uh, it's it's amazing to see the turnout. It's such great fun seeing fans. In fact, at one point I was doing a show in Florida. It was a GI Joe convention, and a guy came up to me and he was in tears, and he said, "To think that I lived long enough to meet Dial Tone in person." I went, "Oh, okay." <laughs> well, I just got to chill. But do you mind if I show your character of Dial Tone? Absolutely. Okay, this is Dial Tone. And this is Dial Tone. Yeah. And this was done with uh, my face on the other side showing the characters. And this was created by the guy who did all the artwork on the show. And, and did you know, I actually, I don't think I've told you before, but I actually had your action figure. <laughs> so oh. it, it's kind of, so it's funny because I was telling one of your colleagues that, you know, um, who played Duke. Uh, that it's interesting because you know when we had the action figures we would actually emulate or at least I would I don't know if anyone else uh, would emulate the voices so you know when he's doing you know I would go like oh my yo Joe and so did you, would you know did you know that there's some kid out there that grew up with your figures and probably emulated your voice as he oh, played with it. I mean is, is that did you ever hear that or anything because no, I know uh, wonderful and, and oh. that, that's that's kind of fascinating though know, you have that much of an influence on on somebody it's incredible the GI Joe series was such a wonderful show to do because it was all and I it was always a thing when it was do good and uh Oh God, I forgot the slogan but other than yo Joe oh, oh it was uh, <laughs> oh, knowing is out the battle wait hold on it's uh Oh yes, it's now you know, and knowing, and knowing is half the battle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's awesome. And then because those were always the best slogans, and oh, I always you said you know, I, there's a lot of things to this day that I remember because of that. Like, don't swim in the pool when there's lightning going on, <laughs> or after a full meal. Yeah, because what was the one that do you remember the highlight uh, for you? Which one of those slogans did you remember, or the little uh, those uh, little uh, le learning lessons? Oh yeah, and it was you know that that's just half the battle. Knowing is just half the battle. Yeah. Oh, it's wonderful. Wow, it brings back memories. Yeah. And what's it like to interact with all these fans now? I mean, it's, like I said, you got a sold out theater here. I mean, what's it like to interact with them after all these years? And now they're bringing their kids. I mean, oh, I what, know. what I is know. it like? It, it's, it's an incredible feeling that something that we did so many years ago still lives. Mm -hmm. And every time I do a G.I. Joe convention, the hundreds of people that show up, and it's so gratifying. It really is. Yeah. Well, you know, and it shows for me, you know, as a, as a friend now, being able to say, you have blessed so many other people uh, through what you do, because God has given us talents, and you've been able to bless others with utilizing those talents, that now you see it kind of reciprocate and being able to bless back to you in a way, because now you're they're being able to show you their love, and, you know, which you didn't know that you impacted them when you're in a little booth, kind of so to speak and now here you got their kids their, you know the kids of kids and it's yes. it's really it's I think that's the best part oh, I mean it's amazing in fact because of my manager Deanna Marie uh, known as the DM. Red Warrior <laughs> it's DM beautiful DM. DM yes she is she is gorgeous because of her uh, she's from a farm and 
we went to her home to see the farm and she was able to arrange for me to go into children's areas where kids are awaiting trial or awaiting imprisonment. And I'm talking about children, 11 to 17. And I was able to talk to these kids because I was always in trouble as a kid. Telling them that there is a better life waiting for them. There are angels out there and you have to listen and you will hear that angel there for you. And suddenly it really hit me because I'm sure these kids have seen G.I. Joe or know of G.I. Joe. And it, it just made me realize that I would love to, next time I go to talk to these kids, I would love to bring them autographed pictures yeah, of awesome. the character that I do. And oh, we, we got 14 letters from these kids thanking me for coming to talk to them. They didn't know who I was. They didn't know anything about me. And the letters, and I, I talk about how Sammy Davis Jr. was my yeah. angel. And one young man wrote, Mr. Garrett, you're my angel. Wow. And it, wow. That, that is great. And because some of these things, this character, the things that you've done, the movies, TV, uh, TV shows, are going to most likely outlive us, you oh, know, yes, in a way. And it, it's to know that it's going to have a legacy. And uh, like I said, you've been an impact. And, you know, I know you've given such great words of wisdom before. Is there anything else that you have not been able to say that could maybe help those to inspire those that you maybe haven't said that, you know, that, uh, you know, that you could give a little a piggyback more of a inspirational words of... Absolutely. You've said such great words of wisdom before. And if you guys haven't, <laughs> check out some other uh, uh, other shows or radio shows that we've done. But uh, anything else that comes to your mind that, you know, that maybe yeah, it, inspire others? You have to give back. Give back. Uh, I've been very fortunate. I was taken off the streets. I was a hoodlum. An angel was sent to me. And you have to give back. And the best people to give back to are those who are in need, truly in need. They may, may not be asking for help, but every one of these kids is sure in need of help. And I'm not talking about opening your wallet. Just be there. Just be there for them. They're begging for the attention. That's why they get into trouble. They're looking for it. That's what I did. I wanted to be noticed. And I was trying very desperately to be noticed. And I thought I, by being a bad guy. No, more people know me now as a good guy. Of the fact that I'm entertaining. And it's so soul satisfying. That's great, and it's great to piggyback on that. Thank you for all the years of entertainment. It's always great to see you. God bless you. You know that. Yeah, you know, you love you. You take care. God bless. Again, this is Tyrone Tan with Dial Tone, now AKA <laughs> Hank, Hank Garrett, Garrett. <laughs> and you're watching Staros Entertainment TV. And now you know, cause Yo Joe, <laughs> <laughs> knowing is half the battle. <laughs> So check out more episodes as we interview a lot more guests here that attend the Sunbow celebration of the Transformers of the movie and G.I. Joe the movie presented by American Cinematheque and Damaged Goods on Star Wars Entertainment TV.